Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Well, today is Friday, January 9th, 2015, and they have apprehended nearly all of the suspects from the, the terrorist attacks that have happened in Paris at the Charlie Hedbo Center, and then at two other locations, even a supermarket type place, where they had some people in a hostage situation, and the attackers were killed. One woman is still missing that was involved in these things, and most of them were all making threats saying they were from ISIS and Al-Qaeda and yelling Allah Akbar and such. Well, our channel shows how all of this is spiritually being done and created, that Jesus Christ is preparing to open the seals of the Bible. And a great delusion and a great deception is coming upon the earth to drive everybody into World War III as Jesus Christ begins to bring his wrath upon the earth, which means he will be releasing Satan and the demons from the abyss to cause all of these type things. And this is being shown to us all around us. Islam will be part of that great deception through there. We have the Charlie Hedbo Center right here, and this area maps out what I keep showing on my channel, the end of days coming. All of the earth is mapped out as a grid. Even in Acts 217, he talks of that he will show everything at the end of days. This is where Charlie Hedbo's place is right here where the 12 people were killed. And this led to three days of terror. And you can see right here this event just like this here. Where you can see these two domes. This represents a large nuclear and earthquake event coming upon the earth when the USA is even going to be hit. And the Vatican <clears throat> and all of the world will feel this great earthquake as Jesus Christ brings his wrath. It begins the time of the great tribulation of the Bible. You see those domes right there? They're right there, right by his house. And then what rises is Jesus' Ark of his Testament, looking just like this jet. Do you see where the office is right there? Now you can see this represents Jesus' Ark of his Testament. And once these domes go, the only way to get to Jesus then is to go to the guillotines, and he will collect the souls of the people as the earth is being harvested. You can see right here the domes. Perfect. Now this it matches this event I keep showing right here. This is the United Nations. It's all on the board right here. The United Nations and all the world rulers know it's coming. It shows when this dome goes, the serpent receives this grievous head wound, this phoenix rises and is reborn, the next age. Everybody over here with Jesus goes through this blue cabinet and up to heaven right there the dead rise and over here in the red you can see the white horse begins to ride and the apocalypse begins this in the middle is a large nuclear egg it's called the mystery egg because nobody really quite knows how bad the earthquakes and nuclear war is going to be and everything being rebirthed after that point but there's the day of the lord coming right there see the dome it's also matched even on this egyptian glyph Remember, Moses was taken out from under the burdens of Egypt and set free from Abraham to Jesus were in Egypt. This guy's coming. See this guy with the V on his chest? The fifth angel of the Bible with the key to open the abyss. See the large nuclear event by these two domes? And he represents the great millstone of the Bible coming, which has to happen. The red bull, the red horse of the apocalypse, World War III. And then you can see right here, see the phoenix rising by the two domes? That represents Jesus' Ark of His Testament. Right there. Just like this big event coming. The symbolism just goes on and on and on through all of this. Even a mother figure was attacked by the initial intruders and she had to let them in. Just like in the Bible of Revelation 12, the beast coming. See the woman and the dragon? The dragon goes after the woman. This ISIS group and everything represents that dragon coming. This guy is like that dragon right there. So you can see that right there. 
Now, then we had three days of terror in Paris, just like we matched down here when I showed, I, I showed four or five days ago, well actually I showed three days ago, that this was going to happen. The July column, see it's right at the front, which has a lot of things to do with the eagle landing. Just as in the Bible, the woman is granted the wings of an eagle, and on July 20th, that's when the eagle landed on the moon. So now we've had three days of terror. Well, we showed three days ago on the July column that it se celebrates the three glorious days of a new monarchy, and it actually celebrated King Charles dying, just as with Charlie Hedbo, the place that was hit right here. And then we had three days of terror, and then you had on here the three glorious days of, you know, Louis Philippe taking over at that point. This all represents the three and a half years of the Great Tribulation coming. The 42 months that this beast gets. This beast is coming. The beast out of the sea. The dragon. Right there. A grievous head wound happens through there. But that's what's coming. May God have mercy on us all. So this is this right here. Now let's show that this is Jesus Christ doing a lot of this stuff. Their next event, one of the other events, we have a few of them mapped out. But also at the same time, this woman was shot over here at Montreux. This police officer was actually shot near Montreux over here. This is Montreux right here. This is going to map out everything I've been showing more clearly. Much more clearly. This is where this officer was killed. This is going to show that this is the Jesus wrath coming and that ISIS and Islam and Russia and everything rising up and Obama and everything it represents the end times coming and the wrath of the Lamb coming in World War III. Right here is where this event was. Right here you can see this heart. See this heart that says gently and I keep saying it's the end of the time of the Gentiles no more grace and mercy that is the two domes. See the two domes? This is the wise virgins invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. See right there? They're going up as the devil comes down. See right there? And it's the end of the time of the Gentiles. And after this, that's when that, it's the same event we just showed up there. Then you can see this here. Let's make sure this is all in here by the lines first. See where the killing happened? Now, This is the Ark of Jesus Testament launched. And this is the sword that comes out of Jesus' mouth. And that means World War III is coming. And then Jesus Christ will sit on top and harvest the world from on top. And he will judge the world. Literally. This boot represents the way to get your oil and to get into heaven. As we've shown, the heaven area looks like a foot. Representing the foot of Jesus Christ. And when his heel is bruised and the head of the serpent is bruised. This means that all of this is, is angels and everything doing this and bringing the world to World War III. Right here, you can see the dog as I keep showing. See the dog at the top? See, just like this is like the disc, be able to go through and the domes go. We can go right through the dog star into the Ark of Jesus Testament. We get our oil to go to heaven and then that dog star connection is cut. Now the only way in is by the sword. They have to go to the, to the guillotines or they take the mark of the beast. May God have mercy on us all. Do you see how perfect this is? That is this coming right here. And this, the fifth angel coming, the key to open the abyss. See the phoenix rising, the two domes just like the heart. And it represents the sword out of Jesus Christ's mouth. Jesus is getting ready to bring his wrath upon the world. Look at this. It's perfect by every single line. Do you see that? That's the sword out of his mouth. There you go. May God have mercy on us all. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart. God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. 
All of this chaos is being brought by Jesus Christ in the heavenly realms as they prepare to unleash Satan and the beast from the pit and let the mark of the beast come upon the world. And then Jesus will be on top, harvesting. And this is the sword out of his mouth, right there. That means World War III also, just like the second horseman gets the great sword for World War III. Thank you very much, everybody. May God have mercy on us all. Hallelujah. It's real and right in front of us. This is one of the best pictures to see how everything's going to begin. The domes go, the connection to the dog star is over, Jesus takes off in his Ark of his Testament, and then anybody who wants to go to heaven has to actually go to the guillotines at that point. God have mercy.